Hi everyone, Lady De Winter here, and I hope you can hear me okay. I am harvesting and cutting up the vegetables that I got from the garden. So, when the harvest is completely done and I'm finished cutting all this up and getting it ready for the freezer, I will show you how much all of this have netted. Now, this is, whoa, so I'm not very good at this chopping stuff, so give me a break here. So, but this all has to be cut open. Oh, I didn't see that little mark, but we'll have to cut that puppy out. So, yeah. Let's make sure it didn't ruin the inside. No, it did not. So, we'll just take our handy dandy knife and we'll cut that part out. Let me get a paring knife. Trust me, I'm much better with a paring knife than I am a big chopping knife. There we go. So, we'll take all of this out because it's just not very good. So, yeah, there we go. So, now. That's out. That will all, all but this little cherry tomato, which I intend to eat, will go into the compost jar, which is here. It's just an old jar I use for throwing compost away. So all of this will go into the compost, all but the seeds. The seeds will go into the garbage. Now, people ask me all the time why I don't save my seeds. Uh, I have tried, and it does not work out well for me. Ew, that's slimy and gross. Um, it does not work out well for me. I am not good at saving seeds. I just don't do it well. So I'm not going to be saving the seeds from this stuff. I am, however, going to cut the membranes out because, I don't know, a lot of people don't mind the membranes. I do. I don't care for the membranes at all. Where'd my jar go? I put my jar, it's right there for me. So I usually put the membranes and all that in the jar. I don't put the seeds in, and the reason for that is I don't want volunteer pepper plants in my compost bin. So yeah, that's the only reason I don't do that. So Now as you can see, there's seeds still in there. Can you see that? Yeah, there you go. You can see there's seeds still in there. Let me see if turning on this light helps any at all. Uh, not much. So anyway, I think it's the angle I have the camera. Now this video might not work out at all, and if it doesn't, then I won't be showing it. So we'll see how it works out. Now, this is all, again, membrane, so that's all going to go in there, all but the seeds. The seeds go over here because I, as much as I love volunteer free plants, I don't want, like, pepper plants growing up in a, in my compost bin, basically. And they will. They'll grow there. They will grow in, you know, any soil you give them. I've seen far too many of my gardening YouTubers who wind up with volunteer plants. So, and my husband saved seeds when he was alive. He knew how to do it. I'm just not good at it. Every time I've ever tried to save seeds, they've turned all nasty black and icky and yeah. So, I don't even, excuse me. I don't even bother trying, so, yeah. I just cut all the seeds and the membranes away. And yes, I'm not a professional chef, guys. You can tell by the way I handle a knife. I suck with a knife. That's why my knives are not uber sharp like some people's, because I would stab myself with them, to be honest with you. I would literally stab myself with the knives, so. But we do need to cut these in fourths because when I put them in the chopper, oh, there's seeds on there. See, we've got to get those off. We'll, we'll just throw that in the garbage then. But, you know, when uh, I put them in my chopper, which I use the Vidalia uh, Onion Wizard, a great little tool. Oh, my God, I found it thanks to a homestead or um, Living Traditions Homestead is the video where this chopper was focused or featured. And oh my God, I love it. It's the best thing that's ever come into my life. You can chop onions with no tears. It's just wonderful. It's a wonderful little tool and I recommend it to everyone. Now, these are sweet peppers. The bell peppers here, we will cut up separately, okay? Because they're two different kinds of peppers with two different kinds of flavors. So we will cut those all up separately. But first things first, and then I'm going to show you, I'm going to take all the stuff out of the freezer that I have there from this year's harvest, 
and I'm going to show you what all we got this year. So, yeah. The, the onions didn't go too well. We didn't get a lot of little onions, green onions, uh, and we don't have a lot of onion onion. We did get a little tiny bit of onion, but it really wasn't enough to make anything, you know, to worry about. So it's just going to be for flavorings and stuff. I won't be using it in anything too awfully important. So now you see how the seeds just kind of fly everywhere. And my countertop is already moist because I harvested herbs earlier and I have them drying. I'm going to show you guys all that too. Um, yeah. Why won't you come loose? This membrane does not want to come loose. It does not want to come loose. So there, we made it. We forced it. There we go. So it's a little bit of membrane with a couple of seeds. Now the seeds don't all... Let's see, I threw the seeds there. That was brilliant. Um, the seeds don't always uh, grow. Or well, There's a word for it. I can't remember it right now. Germinate. They don't always germinate. Um, some of them do, some of them don't, but it's just not a good idea to mix all of that in the garden if you don't want. Say you have a, a, a thing of okra. Well, you certainly don't want pepper seeds in it, do you? No, you don't want green peppers in your okra. Maybe you do. I personally don't. Oh, yeah. And I don't grow okra anyway, but that was my example. Vegetable. I do want to try zucchini next year. That is something I'm looking great forward to because I have found a great love of zucchini. Uh, it's a very good, delicious little veggie. It doesn't have a strong flavor, which is one of the things I love most about it. I hate anything with a strong flavor. I'm just not a strong flavor person. So, Okay, here's our chopped up our, our slices of pepper. Now here's where the fun comes in. Let me get this over here. This is the Vidalia Onion Wizard and it is one of the greatest little tools I think I've ever found in my life. Let me show you why. I'm going to do it this way so you can see it. It will chop this up in no time flat. I need to make some of these a little bit thinner. Oh, it is. Okay. Okay. Now, you lay your vegetables here, just like this, and you bang the lid. So you can get your violence out at the same time you're chopping your vegetables. Wonderful tool. Absolutely wonderful. And I didn't chop these up real good, so I'm going to pay for that in the long run. Yeah. So that's okay. We'll just do that. Yeah, look at that. Sometimes they don't chop through, and that's okay, because then you put them through a second time, and they chop through, and, and that takes care of that one. But see, look at that. Easy, breezy, wonderful, no fuss, no worry, vegetables from the garden. Don't worry, my countertops are clean. I sterilize them, disinfect and everything before I ever start working on them, so... Sometimes it don't go down if you're not very strong. Other times it goes down just fine. So it just depends on how strong you are too, I guess. I'm a weak old lady, what can I say? But yeah, we're going to take that membrane out and put that in the jar. And we're going to lay this here. And this is the last of our green pepper. So that will be the end of, whoops, that will be the end of that. And I see a seed, that's why I stopped that. And there we go. Now I have delicious sweet peppers chopped and ready to go in the freezer bag. Awesomeness. Now, I'm going to get out the freezer bag. Yeah, you're going to get to see eventually. This is my sweet pepper bag. This is a full freezer bag of sweet peppers. And I'm about to add this in now. And yeah, so... We're just going to put all of this in here like so. The bag is getting very full. The bag is getting very, very full. So, and I think I'm going to probably have to get a new bag after this one because this is very full. So, 
So this bag is done, and I think we're done with sweet peppers for the year or so. But I just put them in a freezer bag, just like this. Okay, just a regular old Walmart freezer bag. I squish some of the air out. I seal it up. And I put it in the refrigerator, in the freezer. That is all the garden peppers from this year, chopped and stored, ready for use. So my friends, you see, my garden has been prosperous. My garden has been very prosperous this year. I am very pleased with it. And this can go in the dishwasher, by the way, anytime you want. Oh, I missed a pepper. Oh well, I'll eat it. There, now. Now I'm gonna rinse these off real quick and then we're gonna chop those up. So. Now the big bell peppers have got more seeds and stuff inside. So I chop them up, de-seed and demembrane them, and then I chop them into slices because it's just easier that way. These have so many seeds in them. I wish I could learn to save seeds, but I just can't seem to do that. So every year I wind up having to buy seeds and whatnot, which is not a problem. I mean, I usually just buy these pepper plants. I buy them from like Lowe's or someplace. So, and again, I'm just going to take the seeds and the membrane out and part of it's going to go in the compost bin and the rest of it is going to go in the garbage, the seeds, well, that is. Let me get a little plate to lay these on and we'll put them over here. So, I figured a day in the kitchen with Lady De Winter wouldn't hurt anybody that you guys might actually enjoy seeing what I do with my time when I'm not gaming or playing Minecraft or building things. I basically work in my kitchen and work around my house. And that is something I thought that I would show you guys via these videos. So, there we go. Now, I usually cut the, the center part off here, this stem part here. I usually cut that off. And, but it didn't break this time, so we're just gonna break it. And then I'll take my handy dandy paring knife and I'll cut away the membrane like that and get that seed out of there and cut this little piece away and boom, this pepper is gonna be ready to cut up. So and you can't sometimes help getting the seeds into your compost bin. It just happens. I try not to get many of them if I can avoid it, but sometimes you just can't. And that's okay too. I mean, you know, sometimes it just happens. So, like right here, this membrane had a bunch of seeds, a bunch of seeds. And yes, I'm over here at the garbage bin um, getting rid of seeds. So, but yeah, it just had a whole bunch. So I had to improvise a little bit and scrape and get all that out and yeah. So, and then I'm going to rinse this a little bit because the seeds still did not go wet. So, yes, and I do rinse the seeds down the drain here. Um, there is reasoning to doing that also. Um, I have a double drain here, so it will go away. So, but the only way to make the seeds actually disappear is to rinse them away because trying to scrape them away is just too tedious. It gets... It gets tedious. As you see now, there is now seed all over my cutting board. So yeah, it's kind of hard not to get seeds in if you're really trying hard not to. It's just hard not to get them in there. They just wind up there somehow. So there we go. Now here's some where I can just scrape the seeds out. But see now I have seeds all over my fingers too. So yeah. So. But there we go, we're getting the peppers all cut up. And this is the last of the season also here, I do believe. I don't think, I think there's two more out there on the vine, but I really don't think they're gonna come to anything at all. So I am not going to worry with them. Oh, I need a paper towel or something. Usually I wear an apron, I forgot to put it on before I started the video, so that's his life. That's the way it goes sometimes. You just forget to do things when you're not expecting to do things. And I wasn't really expecting to make this video today, guys. 
because I just made one the other day of the harvest and what I brought in. But I harvested so much today that I thought they really need to see this because there is a lot of stuff that I harvested today. So more seeds. I'm really hoping that doesn't stop up the drains. I've never actually thought about that before, but it shouldn't. There's no soil down my drains. So it should not stop up my drains. I'm really hoping it doesn't. So just a couple more to go here. We got this. Look at this. And yeah, I'm going to go ahead, I think, and move these for a minute and scrape all this into the garbage because I'm getting seeds all over myself and that is not what I want. So let's rinse this all off again. That is the only bad thing about peppers, my friends, is the fallout from the seeds and the, because they wind up, I'll, I'll find pepper seeds three days after I've harvested my peppers. I'll find pepper seeds in the kitchen. They just, they fly when you cut into the peppers. They just go everywhere. So that is the only bad thing about peppers, but they're so tasty. They're so tasty and delicious. So yeah, so there we go. So, and this is, I'm gonna cut this little piece of membrane off right there. I only like the green part. A lot of people say, why do you do that? The green part has the flavor, and that's what I want in my stuff, is just the pepper flavor. I don't want a bunch of gushy, slimy stuff. I'm not big into slimy. So now we have this all cut up. Let's rinse our, our knives off and everything. Yeah, and we will chop those into little slices so we can throw them into the onion slicer. And yeah, okay. There we go. Now, I usually don't make videos of my doing domestic stuff like this, but I'll be honest with you guys, I'm running out of topics. I thought about doing a day in the life of, but I don't know how bored to death you guys would get with that because my life is not exciting. I don't do much of anything. I drink coffee. I play video games. I clean my house. I crochet occasionally. Don't want to see it in there. Um, yeah. Like I said, I will find seeds for three days now. It's just the way my kitchen works, and yeah. So, I will find seeds in here now for three days. That's the way it always is after a harvest. Now those three little peppers didn't look like much, but once they get chopped up and put in the bag, you will be surprised how much those little peppers make. So, and see that's the thing I love most about this is it's very surprising how much all of this makes. If you're not really aware of this, now you see why I don't use very sharp knives. Because if that was a sharp knife, that would have resulted in a serious cut for lady. So, yeah. I don't use awfully sharp knives because I'm clumsy in the kitchen with knives. I have been known to cut myself seriously. So, I sharpen the knives to a certain degree and leave it at that. Okay, back to the chopper. Here we go again. We're going to, oh, I need to turn this so you guys can see it. And I just lay these down in here like so and they fall out and they don't want to stay in here because that's the way my life works. And I go like that. And sometimes they chop and sometimes they don't and that's okay too. Sometimes I'll just, I'll kind of push them down on the blades a little bit so that they do chop. So yeah. So. pieces here. I try to arrange them so it's not too hard for me to chop them. So, but I do love this little gadget. This is probably the best thing I've ever bought in my life. If you spend a lot of time cutting up vegetables like I do, these little graters and choppers and things are gold. They are absolute gold. 
so and this is like 19 bucks I got it on Amazon I got it off the living tradition uh, they've got their little affiliate page with Amazon and I got it from there and I have not regretted it yet it has been a godsend in my kitchen uh, because I hate chopping I usually wind up cutting myself if I chop that needs to be just a little bit thinner I think there we go um, I usually wind up cutting myself when I chop things up so I really tend to like this little gizmo a lot and we're almost done here and then you're gonna get to see because I'm gonna pull up all the freezer bags and show you just how much we got this year out of that little garden that you all watched grow so yeah yeah and sometimes you get stuck up there they give you a little rake that you can get the stuff out of up there too so when it comes time to clean and this thing is dishwasher safe you can put it in a dishwasher and it will come out just fine so and that I don't own a dishwasher I mean I do my dishes by hand I'm old school here we're old school around here folks we do everything the hard way but my little mobile home isn't set up for a dishwasher so that's why I don't have one and the last two little pieces and boom now okay those little peppers didn't look like they made them a lot did they but they actually made let's see they made over a cup of pepper look at that over a cup of pepper so yeah that worked out pretty good I think so let's get this into the bag Here is the garden green pepper bag. So yeah, do that. That's what I got so far this year. So yeah, we uh, had a pretty good harvest this year of peppers, which is unusual because last year my harvest was horrible and I had to buy store-bought. So I was really very pleased this year with this harvest of peppers. So now let us pick up all the little pieces here and I like to try to get every bit of that peppery goodness so yeah I scrape it all in the best I can put that aside pick up what fell off and then I'm gonna to have to see about what's in here because there's more peppery goodness in here so yeah now I'll show you the little tool they give you here is the little tool they give you it's very nice and its purpose is to just do this yeah, it just scrapes through here and helps you get this out, just like a little shovel would. So that you can wash this little gizmo and yeah. And yeah. So it's a very handy little tool. I love it. I'm not getting an endorsement or anything from these folks to tell you about this gizmo. This is just something that Lady likes in her kitchen. So yeah. So let's get to the part of the video where you get to see how much stuff we got and we are back that's the chives from the garden that's the last of the oregano that's Italian oregano this is all the chopped green pe sweet peppers we got ignore the date that's when I started this bag uh, so this is all the green garden green peppers we got this is a, a quart bag full and that's all the poor little onions but we have used some too so yeah so that my friends let me turn this around is what we got out of the garden so I'm very happy with my harvest this year we had a really great really really I should turn that we had a really really great harvest this year we got a lot of good stuff so until next time this is Lady DeWinter in the kitchen reminding you that you're never too old to game or garden. I'll see you in the next Ladies World video. Bye-bye for now.